Thank you so much for joining us today. This video is gonna cover the ultra powerful audio routing the Looper Board provides. So let's dive right in. To access, just use the navigation menu and go to audio routing. You can use the audio routing page to control where your input, looper track, and output signals are sent. These settings are super powerful because you can assign things like the click track to just go out your headphones, track when panned hard left, and track four preloaded with a big synth part that you can trigger when needed to go out across your whole stereo field. All kinds of custom configurations. So, the top selection in audio routing is input. This is where you're going to set your direct monitor signal and input pans. Let's tackle the input levels first. As you send a level into your selected channel, you'll want to monitor that input signal here. An important rule to live by here is you want to get your signal as close to zero dBs so you get a nice big thick audio wave in your timeline view. At the top, you can pan your signal left or right and can even double tap on this to make fine tune adjustments. Below the meters are the selections to send a direct monitor out of an output of your choice. This will be a dry signal and unaffected by what the looper board does. Choose any track. To the left, you will see the options to stereo link channel one and two or three and four. This is great if you're plugging in a stereo instrument and want to monitor those channels locked together. Now, the monitor page. This page is very powerful and allows you to listen to your inputs while recording, overdubbing, and playing back loops. You can control the level of each input as well as which output you would like to monitor them on. To adjust the monitor level of an input, tap and drag the gray line at the top and move it to where you need that level to be. To select an output for monitoring, tap the desired output one through four button or headphone icon below the input meter. Second to last in the audio routing menu, you get track. Here you can route any input to any looper track in mono or stereo, route the track to any output, and what is very cool, on the side here, you can route the click track to any output you want, including just the headphones. Lastly, you get the output section. This page is very simple and very useful so that you can monitor the output signal of any track. And if you need to turn it down, just tap on the gray line and adjust it to where you need. Let me show you. Very easy to do. I hope you found this helpful and have a great day.